I don't know why more people don't use this amazing selection tool in Photoshop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the object selection tool and you'll notice there's two modes, there's lasso and rectangle. I don't know if you're aware, but this is really, really good at selecting different things. For example, let's select this book. I'm gonna use the rectangle and go over it. Now notice, I'm not even gonna cover the whole thing. Look, there's a gap at the bottom, there's a gap on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna release. Notice it expands to include the entire selection. And look how well this makes the selection. I mean, it's really good. What if we wanna select maybe just the skin part of her up here? Well, I could draw a square around there and notice what it does though, is it grabs everything. It grabs the hair as well. This is the kind of situation where you would go from the rectangle to the lasso. You would choose the lasso option when you wanna select more kind of detailed areas, but they're very kind of more precise. Now, when I say precise, I'm even gonna go there and make sure that I'm not making a great selection. So notice I'm going over in some places. Notice I missed a little piece of her neck, but if I release, notice what it's doing is it just pops in, expands and contracts to get the part I want but we don't want the hair, we just want the face. So if we hold the Alt or the Option key, it'll turn into the Minus tool. And now we can just roughly go over that area. We don't have to be precise. It knows what we wanna do. Let's grab that little part there. Now, sometimes there's bits like the hair. Let's see if we can get this, but sometimes it won't get them. Notice in this case, it's not getting it. And when this happens, just switch to the regular lasso tool, hold down the Alt or the Option key for areas that you know you just wanna remove from that selection. And of course, once you've got the selection, the best way to save that selection is not to copy it to a new layer, but just go under the layers panel and add a layer mask. And this will give us a selection on its own layer. Now with this layer mask, now we can go in and we can refine that selection. Okay, so we're gonna grab the brush. We're gonna use white as the foreground color. Opacity and flow, you wanna turn up to 100. And then under the brush, we're going to turn the hardness up. Left bracket key will make the brush smaller. Right bracket key will make it bigger. Now, if we paint, we can add to our selection with white. In fact, let me just show you how that works. If we want to refine it the other way, hit the X key. So we set black as the foreground color. And with black as the foreground color, we can paint away. So this is how you can go in and you can refine those selections and get them absolutely perfect. So just a quick one this week, drop a comment underneath and let me know if you learned anything new. And if you're new to the cafe, welcome. Great to have you here. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my tutorials. And if you wanna know more about the new features in Photoshop, check out my video here. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.